Hello everybody, today um, it's just about 10 and today we're going to read No Boring Stories. No Boring Stories. Words by Julie Faltico. Pictures by Charles Santoso. Welcome to our meeting everyone. I assume you're all here. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Hmm? You're a bunny, intruder alert. If you please, Miss Mole, I'd like to. I can guess why you're here. You want to bore us with your stories of cuddling and mommies and kittens and bedtime. We won't need your help. Please go. I don't see anyone except for you. Everyone else will be here in a minute. Hmm. What is all the buhana? Where? Giraffe-necked weevil, thank goodness, there's a bunny here at our meeting. Where? I swear that was the bunny a moment ago. Barbarossa, Yeti crab, greetings. Shall we begin? Let's go over what we've come up with so far. I'll start, honey princess. Barbarossa, strong and fierce, must battle to save her kingdom. And her kingdom, sandwiches. She assembles her most trusted, confident to fight with her. The first is a brilliant and handsome giraffe neck weevil as the largest weevil in the world. Dude, I've seen weasels bigger than you. I am not a weasel, you fool. I am a weevil, a type of beetle. This, sound, this story sounds so exciting. My goodness, it's true, a bunny. Holy crabs, I've never seen one up close. She's got a notebook. Are you stealing our ideas to make your stories more interesting? This is where I write my own interesting stories. Most unlikely, farewell, bunny. Hmm. Let's continue. The next friend to join is the fight is an awesome Yeti crab who builds a giant robot to, to shoot at those humongous great monsters who are trying to steal the sandwiches. And they are lasers on the arms he, as he, oh, bam, whiz. And then an evil grapes underground to escape the rain of laser fire. Only one can meet the member of the princess pose. A star-nosed mole who digs faster than lightning and confuses the grapes with her maze of burrows. And they f and then they fight with carrots, which grow underground. What? My story has carrots and sandwiches too. And then the rest of it is about friendship and sharing and hugging, I'm sure. I wonder if we could make a carrot weapon that shoots lasers. I'd, re I'd read that story. We've kind of got our own thing on, honey. That's right. You must leave and let us get back to our writing. Okay, let's go over the story checklist. Rateable characters, check. She's feisty, beautiful, and clever. Inciting incident that clearly when the gigantic grapes viciously attack the instant kingdom. Raising accident, check. The princess and her team prepare for battle then they fight sure gets exciting climax yeti crab shall shall you talk about this one it's our favorite part wake up honey why are you napping during our writing time dude i sat on this fluffy pillow and it's totally zoinked out what new pillow this one that is soft yeah ah! I'm sorry, I just really want your help. What could you ever help you with? You're, you're a bunny, you're in every story. No, I'm not. A present of the, of the, a present this evidence. Those are boring stories. I like where strange stuff happens, but everybody else says stories are too weird. I think weird stories are cool. Remember that one when you wrote where the main character was a discarded shoe who, who loved to sing? That sounds hilarious. It was pretty good. These guys helped me make it a lot better. 
That was, that's what I want. Surely there are bunnies who can help you. They don't know what to do with my ideas about talking furniture and flying pizza. We've all been there. Or my stories about a daring banana inventor who just wants to be loved. Dude, I get it. I have all these ideas inside me, but it's hard to figure out which ones make good stories by myself. Yes, and so here we are, working together, writing a story, and you keep on interrupting us. We were just about to figure out the ending. Can I watch? I promise I won't make a sound. Uh, she's a good kid. Don't mind if she stays. Don't steal, I d or don't steal our ideas. I won't. Don't interrupt us. I won't. Don't pretend to be a pillow again. I promise I won't. Fine, where were we? Grape creatures attacking sandwiches. Princess assembles the top of the notched team of fighters. Lasers, robots digging carrots. Fight, fight, fight. Then what? How do we end this thing? They all could die. What? No! How about this? A handsome weevil comes in on a shining steed and carries them all to safety. Then what? And the princess declares that grapes are no good. Then the grapes are humiliated and go back to their planet. Planet of the grapes! None of these ideas are any good. What's this? Let me see that. Wow. And they all celebrated with an enormous feast of carrots, raisins, and salad sandwiches. That's awesome. It's perfect. I'm sorry I interrupted again. You know what? It's okay. Your ending needs our beginnings, and our beginnings need your endings. And so the stealthy bunny poked and kneeled at the evil grapes with her carrot sword. Hiya! And the grapes retreated to the surface, only to be dried into raisins by the yeti crabs, lasered, then chopped in bits by bits. Giraffe neck weevil, weevils, mend bits, and mixed with mayo and threaded carrot swords by Princess Babarusa. And they all celebrated with an enormous feast, the carrot raisin salad sandwiches. Does this mean I can stay? I believe it does. But if a bunch of adorable frogs and puppies show up next week wanting to work on their stories about birthday parties, you're out. It's a deal. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. Make sure to like and subscribe to SBLAT10. Thank you. See you later.